one day, he says, this city's full of suckers hoping for a miracle. We can take advantage of that. Anders had a plan. What plan? Lots of folk went missing after the war. I mean, look around. You can see memorials in every other street corner. Families needed to know what happened. And where there's a need, there's a business opportunity. That's sick. Have you no decency? No, oh, decency's dead, mate. It's eat or be eaten. Widows were the easiest marks. We pick a house with a yellow ribbon. I'd be on crutches. Anders oozing charms, saying we fought with their dead husbands during the war. PK, the army, the side didn't matter. For a hot meal, we'd promise to tell them what happened to their husbands. It worked every time. <laughs> They'd give us food, water, medicine, crystals, anything they had. They wanted closure. We gave it to them. The details changed, but we stuck to the same basic story. It always ended with an epic fight with some heroic act by the husband. In no time, we were richer than kings. At least, we thought we were rich. But then we hit the biggest score of all. Melinda was like every other widow we met. Pretty 30-something brunette, blue eyes living near me, packing square. We did our usual thing. But before we leave, she says, my husband, he was the PK treasurer. The night he died, he told me they had a war chest, medicine, crystals mostly. He'd want you to have it. You got no shame. Let him finish. I bet they were skinning for themselves. We give each other the look. It's in Houndfield, she says, but it's not safe during the day. The next night, we take Melinda to our safe house to gear up. She leads us to this dark zone near the chemical zone. It's in the basement, she whispers, shivering with fright. We tell her to stay behind, because, you know, if there's a fight, she'd just get in her way. You left her on her own? Yeah. Then we went looking for a way in. And eventually, we found it. And? There was no loot. Instead, there was a demolisher in that basement. We barely got out of line. When we got back, Melinda was gone. So was our stash. Medicine, crystals, food. She took everything. On the table, a note. Sorry, guys. Nothing personal. Just business. <laughs> the biter was bitten. Only in this case, it was a demolisher. Turns out she'd been tracking us for weeks. And we never saw it coming. Anderson and I split up after that. I bet he's still out there. I enlisted with the PKs. But here in war stories at night, people who actually died fighting for what they believed in, it made me feel guilty every time. I lasted two months. Now I'm back where I started before the fall. A nobody telling stories.